It's called the three-word game. Describe every NFL game succinctly forces us to burrow down to the truth about every NFL game. Are we ready, John? All right, here we go. Vikings at Buccaneers. Looked the same. Bucks had the least time of possession of any team in Week 14. If Dan Bailey didn't miss three field goals and an extra point, I think it had a different outcome. I still don't know what Tampa's identity is. I thought they were awful in the first quarter. Um, look the same. Cardinals and Giants. Run, Kyler, run. Cardinals are 8-0 when Kyler has 10-plus carries in his career, and because of an injury, he stopped running. Well, yesterday, he went back to running. 13 carries, 47 rushing yards. That's the most rushing yards since Week 10, and it absolutely frustrated a very good – you see it right there. It drove the Giants nuts. When he runs, they're a tough out. Broncos and Panthers. Best bad game. Drew Locke, career-high four touchdown passes. No picks for the first time since week two. Didn't mean much, but Drew Locke had a real football game. Chiefs and Dolphins. Way too a close. Come on. Five straight wins by one possession. Chiefs outscored 17-3 to in the fourth quarter. Chiefs with a season-high four turnovers. Listen, Miami is exceptionally well coached, and this is a great catch in the end zone. But, I mean, Miami was missing their top three running backs, Kyle Van Noy, three rookies in the O-line. Uh, Devontae Parker didn't play in the second half. No way the best team in football should let Miami back in this thing. Titans at Jaguars. A predictable blowout. We called this one on Friday. Jags now on a 12-game losing streak. Derrick Henry, fourth career game with 200 rushing yards. Here's the reality with Tennessee. Good teams that get blown out. Titans last week always bounce back the following week, and the Titans did. Cowboys and Bengals. Andy was dandy. Dalton, a season-high 122 passer rating. Andy, two touchdowns, no picks. I didn't watch a ton of this game, but this is where Andy Dalton played. They kind of gave up on him, and I understood it was time to reboot. Um, yeah, everybody bangs on Dalton, but I, I've said this. He's not Dak. But if you give Andy a little time to throw, the one thing I think he does as good as Dak or better, he throws a very accurate, tight, intermediate ball. He didn't have a huge arm. He's not as good as Dak as an athlete, but if you have to just throw intermediate balls 17 yards in, Andy Dalton with time to throw is real good. Texans at Bears. Don't be fooled. I know the Bears had a season high 36 points. Trubisky was amazing. Texans have the second worst defense in NFL to the Jaguars. By the way, the first play of the game, Bears got scored an 80 yard touchdown. Texans weren't ready to play. Jets at Seahawks. Worst team ever? The Jets scored three points on the opening drive and then surrendered the next 40 points. 16 straight games where the Jets' opponents have passed for more yards than the Jets with Darnold or Joe Flacco. Cold said Raiders. Physical versus finesse. Wow. Jonathan Taylor had 150 yards. He's the rookie from Wisconsin. We loved him. They love him. Raiders, 10 turnovers in the last three games. This one was one of those NFL games. If you bet it, you knew 10 minutes in. If you had the Raiders, you were on the wrong side. And if you had the Colts, you knew it was going to be a good day. And by the way, that kid, is that Kenny Moore? He is good. All those draft picks from Chris Ballard are starting to pay off and pay off early. Washington at 49ers. Coach of year. Ron Rivera, four straight wins. Six wins this year, doubles the win total last year. He's got cancer. Alex Smith got hurt yesterday, and uh, Antonio Gibson did not play. If you look at the obstacles, the chaos at quarterback, um, the Dwayne Haskins decision, it was a rough September, October, but this is what Rivera did in Carolina. It's an organization that didn't have an identity. He makes your defense really good. That's one thing about Cam for the Cam, the Cam defenders, Cam usually had a top 10 defense with Rivera. Whoever quarterbacks Washington is going to have a really good defensive scheme. Falcons at Chargers. <laughs> I-N-T. Two punts, three picks in the fourth quarter. 
nobody gives up wins like Atlanta. My bad, except for the Chargers. <laughs> this thing was a mess. It was Atlanta and Atlanta South. You just can't. And Matt Ryan and Justin Herbert are good. It was just two teams giving this puppy away. No, it was so chaotic and so absolutely predictable. Saints at Eagles. Man, that hurts. Saints lose the number one seed in the NFC. Jalen Hurts had 106 rushing yards. For the record, Taysom Hill's good. But did you notice this? Three of the Saints' four four low-scoring games are with Taysom Hill. So, again, unique can win. But now everybody's got a little film on Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill. And suddenly, uh, the points are harder to get. Packers at Lions. Easy for cheesy. I love that. I know it's bad. Goulet, give me a break. I'm up here for three hours doing hockey scores, okay? Packers now currently the number one seed. This was one of these games. It was close. You never felt Green Bay would lose. I never felt for a second Green Bay would lose. Aaron Rodgers in the last three weeks, 10 TD, zero picks, total harmony with Matt LaFleur. The, 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 the one thing I liked about this game, Detroit couldn't run the football. And Detroit was held to 51 rushing yards, so that was a, that was more than just a win for Green Bay. They look, they played very good against the run, which is going to really matter in the postseason. Steelers at Bills. Told you so. Being kind of a jerk. The Bills are a Hail Mary away from being 7-0 in their last seven games, and they so remind me of the Pittsburgh Steelers 13 years ago. Ben was in his fourth year. Josh Allen's in his third. They had a defensive head coach from William & Mary. They had a smart coordinator, Bruce Arians with Ben and Brian Dayball with Josh Allen. Northeast, proud, cold-weather franchise. Steelers, Bills, been to a lot of Super Bowls. One team's won them all. Other teams lost a lot of them, but... Uh, now, but boy, Pittsburgh is a – isn't it weird? If I'd have told you there's a one team in the NFL will not be able to run the ball, you'd never think the Steelers. It, it, I think of all the great Steeler teams, the defenses, Terry Bradshaw, Big Ben, they can always run the ball. Last couple of years, Le'Veon Bell left, cannot run the ball since he left. Can't run the ball. Doesn't matter. They've had Pro Bowl offensive linemen. They've had tight ends that can block. They cannot run the football since Le'Veon Bell left. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.